What's up, nerds? Welcome back to my channel, guys. I'm so excited for today's video. As you guys saw the title, we'll be talking about every single series I'm currently in the middle of. <laughs> so, it's a hard one. It's like a, not a, it's not hard, but like, um, <laughs> It's, 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 um, it gets dicey talking about certain series and not for any other reason than, um, just because I never know, like, what's coming next, when's it coming, that whole nine. And so some of these books, I'm like, I know that this is supposed to be a series, but I'm not sure when the next book is coming out. Could be a year, could be two years. Like, I have no idea any information, which I'm sure I could find some information, but honestly, I'm not going to dig that deep. Um, I just wanted to share with you guys the ones that I know that I'm currently in the middle of, that I am actively reading currently in the middle of, and I know when the next book is coming out, <laughs> for the most part, um, or I know that there is a next book. So anyway it's a long one first if you guys like this video definitely give it a thumbs up hit the subscribe button without further ado let's just get started i think like technically the list of like series i'm in the middle of so i have like a whole list on my phone i think it was like close to 30 and well close to 30 series like i want to start basically this year that i want to be in the middle of this year <laughs> not necessarily but i think it's this list that i have is like 30 books long because i started a lot in um 2023 which is I was so happy about but I finished a lot of I caught all, I got caught up with a lot of those series so not a lot of series carried over which was nice um a lot of them I'm just waiting for like the next book um and so obviously that's not on me that's on the author <laughs> the publisher whatever so um that's why there's so many on that list this year I also started off like January restarting so many series series so like I'm there's a lot anyway um we're gonna like just split it up in categories just for um poops and giggles um so we're gonna start with romance first we have the Windor series so this is the broken vows by katharina mara um i'm in the middle of the Windor series the next book comes out let me find it it comes out on the 26th of of oh it was supposed to come out i believe the 26th i believe she pushed that date back because she wasn't ready or something the next book so i'm still waiting on the next book i think there's gonna be six out of the series and we have four right now so we're waiting on two more books um and i love this series so much i will wait as long as it takes to get the next book in my hands um but if you guys do not know all six siblings and I love them so much. I'm honestly not even going to describe it because we will be here all day. So love this book. If you have not, I'm currently in the middle of this one. Um, if you want me to talk more about that, um, eventually just let me know. I'm also in the middle of obviously the Windy City. Not obviously, but like uh, <laughs> you guys know what the series is called. This is the Windy City series um, by, um, oh my gosh. Liz Tomford. I know her name. This is Caught Up. This is the most recent book that just came out. The next book is not coming out until June, um, which is Play Along, but I am so excited about it. I'm currently waiting patiently for this series, um, but I've caught up. I'm caught up. <gasps> I'm caught up. <laughs> and um, patiently waiting. Okay, this one I actually just started... Um, just started yesterday two days ago something like that I started it finished it in a day because I loved it so much this is Brutal Prince by Sophie Lark this also has like six books or something insane like that yeah, it has like six books and like honestly I'm so excited to like keep reading these <laughs> I love this first one so much I am nervous that it's gonna go downhill because I haven't I've heard mixed reviews about the series but like this first book I get five stars so like I'm excited this one I believe all of them are out like, they're all released, so I just have to read them. So I'm currently in the middle of this series again. I'm telling you all this information. Hopefully, obviously, I know people just want to know what series I'm reading. But obviously, you know, like, if you want to see any of these, like, any, any, if you want me to read any of the next books or whatever in a reading vlog, or you want me to, like, do a video dedicated to, like, this series, that series, I want to tell you so you guys know, like, to keep you guys informed, <laughs> just in case you guys want to see anything or you have any recommendations, you know what I mean? You can also, again, ob obviously give me recommendations for other series that I'm not in the middle of. I have plenty on my shelf, I do, that I'm going to be starting soon, but again, it's just, like, for you to do with this information what you want. <laughs> All right, next I'm also in the middle of the King of Sin series by Anna Huang. The next book does not come out until April, April 30th actually, which is King of Sloth. Um, but I am caught up with this series. I love this series so much. I think it is so good. And I am patiently waiting for that next book. I almost pre-ordered it already uh, because you can pre-order it now. But I'm like, well, that's a long time to like pre-order something. <laughs> but um, 
I'm in the middle of that series. I'm actively in the middle of that one. Okay, this one also, why I don't know why I don't have it here. Maybe because I just don't remember. Um, but let me find it real quick. Guys, my birthday month's about to be like lit. My birthday's in June. <laughs> and um, Daydream, so the next book in the Maple he Hills series by Hannah Grace is coming out June 4th. So I'm in the middle of this series. I'm waiting for that book. <laughs> I love this series so much because they're just so much fun. And um, they're all like college students, but it's just so chill. I just love this series so much. I've talked about it a hundred times. I feel like um, Icebreaker, if you guys don't know, then we have... Um, Wildfire and then now Daydream and I'm so excited to buy it. <laughs> but June 4th, baby. My birthday's June 12th. I'm about to have a, have a big birthday book haul. <laughs> Huge. <laughs> so excited. I'm also turning 25. So it's giving, let's celebrate. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. Then we have miscellaneous books. These are like random genres, if you will. Um, first, I believe this is sci-fi. So um, I wanted to talk about this because I'm currently reading it. So I'm not literally in... I, I didn't finish this book, but I am in the middle of this book. <laughs> so I'm in the middle of the series, <laughs> which is Red Rising by Pierce Brown. Um, I don't know. Technically, there's like three books, but there's also like, I think, six books. Like, something like that. But I wanted to tell you that I'm reading it I'm trying to get through it it's not like I'm that I'm not interested or anything like that but I the audio audiobook is free on audible and sometimes I just want to listen to an audiobook <laughs> when no matter the book and so because it's free I'll like play it sometimes but I haven't like like I haven't dedicated time to reading this book yet which I will but like just not yet <laughs> but I am in the middle of that I'm also currently in the middle of the, oh my gosh, what is it called? The Naturals series by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. This is the third book. I have not read this yet. I'm so excited to read it though. The first two were incredible. This one I just know is going to be so good. I don't know how I know, but I just know that it's going to be freaking incredible. And I honestly, the reason why I honestly, I probably could have binged these like super fast when I got them, but I really wanted to take a slow because I do not want this series to end. I don't. I really don't. I'm like, can you, can we get more in this series? I believe I believe it's only gonna be the four books and then I think a novella um and I'm like bro can you just give me more just give me what I need <laughs> more is what I need okay I'm also in the middle of the uh, renegades oh my gosh I'm like I forgot all these names the renegades so this is arch enemies by Marissa Meyer so this is the second book in the series I finished the first book I loved it that I read the first book on um uh, I'm sorry, I listened to it on Kindle, um, wow, on Audible, and I really enjoyed it that way because the series actually is in third person, and, um, that's not my favorite, <laughs> it's just not my favorite, um, yeah, so I listened to it on audiobook, and I loved that, so, as an audiobook, and I love that, so I'm probably gonna do that with this book as well, but I'm also currently in the middle of Renegades, Renegades! This one is only in the miscellaneous because I wasn't sure if it's technically romance or fantasy um, because I don't know if it's technically fantasy. But that is Midnight Ruin by Katie Roberts. So this is the Dark Olympus series. I just actually finished this book. So the next book does not come out until... who Do I even have it here? It might be a while. <laughs> um, actually, I, her releases were never that far apart. But... Um, where are you at though? Yeah, I don't have it here. Let's let's look at. Let's take it to Amazon. Amazon with all the answers. Okay, it's coming out August 6th, so that's actually kind of a long time away. <laughs> um, but anyway, it's not that long. It's it's a good amount of time between them. But there are gonna be ten books in this series. This is book number six, actually, so we're closing in on the end. I'm very sad if I to see it go, but I really enjoyed the series a lot. Um, all the other books are, are are really good. There's one other book that the one book right before this one I didn't love, but for the most part I really love the series. If you guys don't know, um, very spicy open door uh, series. But the reason why I wasn't sure if this is technically fantasy is because they're like. It's Dark Olympus, so, like, it's kind of like the gods, but they're not actually gods. They're just, like, people. They're normal. They don't, they don't use magic, but, like, they're replicating the, like, quote, gods. And so then they also have, like, this barrier that, like, <laughs> this barrier that, like, protects them in, um in this world that they live in and so I don't know I guess it kind of is fantasy but I wasn't sure I was like I don't know if technically it is fantasy though because there's no like 
magical elements. I don't know. Anyway, let's go into the fantasy books. We have so many books, honey. We're in so many milestone series. This series I'm almost done with. I'm almost done with this, the trilogy, and then there's the extension of this entire freaking world. But this is the um, Run and Rising this is Run and Rising. This is the, um, oh my gosh, Shadow and Bone trilogy, but it's all in the Grishaverse. Grish, Grishaverse. Um, so I read the first two books. This is book number three. I'm actually excited for it. Um, the second book was, like, slow going, but the ending of the second book actually picked up a little bit, so I was like, okay, wait, like, this could be good. Um, this is not, like, this is YA, so it's not, like, my favorite genre to read or anything like that, like, favorite, um, type of book to read like I would probably love this more if it was a little bit if it was more adult and not for any other reason than just like they act like kids sometimes and it's like kind of like that was childish bro <laughs> but anyway in general I really enjoyed this book I think it's so good this series and um, I'm excited to see what this book is all about I am obviously like the rest of the world waiting for the next book in the fourth wing in the Empyrean series. This is um, the fourth wing. This is Iron Flame. Iron Flame was not it for me. It was not it. And so I need this next book to bring it back for me. I need this next book to give fourth wing because fourth wing was embedded in my being. I, I, I read it twice in a year. In a year, I read the same book twice. That is insane because I don't reread that many books, number one. Number two, I, it's really silly to read the same book in the same year after you, like, you just read it. So, like, why do I need to read it again? But I did it because it was so good. And this is how this, like, I, I needed to be a part of me. You know what I mean? I love that book so much. It was incredible. But, like, Iron Flame was not it, in my humble opinion. And so I need this third book. I'm waiting because I'm like, this third book could make a break it for me. Make a break it for me? And it better make it. <laughs> I'm be so mad. I think there's four books in that series. Um, she said, I think it's gonna be a four book series. Four or five book. Did she say six? I don't know. It's gonna be a long book series. It's gonna be a TV show. It's doing lots of things right now. But this book is not giving. So I'm waiting for the next one. <laughs> this one, um, oh my gosh. I did actually find out. Okay, in July it's coming out. Um, the second book in the Powerless, um, trilogy. I think it says trilogy. Um, so this is by Lauren Roberts. I like this book. I definitely don't think it was like deserved all the hype that it got. It was like blown out of proportion. Genuinely, it's a good series, but like it's no fourth wing. <laughs> um, I felt like it was a lot like it re it's very similar to a lot of the fantasy books you that are already out there. Hunger Games, Divergent, like that whole nine. And so I can understand why people like it, but I just don't think it was all that. It is obviously the romance too was super, super cute. I am excited and waiting for the next one, but I am in the middle of this series. I finished this book, but I'm obviously waiting for the next one. So I'm excited to see what's next. Obviously, I'm hoping that this series um, like takes off <laughs> because honestly, the ending was interesting and you're kind of like, oh my gosh, what the freak is going to happen? Um, but... Oh, another disappointing series. I don't know how, how people, like, love this book. This is called Fear the Flames by Olivia Rose Darling. Someone commented on my video was like, I know exactly what you're talking about. And I was like, that is just the, like, validation that I needed. Because I was like, maybe I'm insane. But I really didn't feel like I was insane. And if somebody else noticed it in this book, then it's not just me. <laughs> um, this book kind of, like... It was, she kind of like tells you how to feel instead of showing you how to feel. Like, so you see these characters and he, she kind of like shoved it down your throat that he's bad, but like he's not, not, not that he's bad, but he's super mean to everyone else, but like that he was really kind to her. But like you don't see it ever. It, they just say it over and over again or like it's constantly like in, in it, but they never, it never gets shown how mean he is to everyone else and how nice he is to her and vice versa. For her, it was like this whole thing where it was like she's been through so much blah 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 which I do think like the little glimpses of her childhood that you get are horrible and like honestly like that's crazy I, I don't know if I could write that because that was intense but I do have to say like I wish I would have been shown a little bit more so that you could feel a little bit more with her because you you don't you feel like an outsider looking in not necessarily inside of the story which I feel like is will make a break you know a five-star book and for me this was like I think I gave this like 3.5 stars three stars something like that it just wasn't that good obviously dry I mean, honestly, dragons are barely in it. So just so you know, like, don't go in there thinking it's fourth wing. <laughs> it's not. But it's a not a bad book. I am waiting for the next one. I know nothing about this series, though. No idea when it's coming out. Um, no idea what the next one is. But I know it's, I've heard it's going to be a series. So, um, where is it? So, I don't know 
there's no way it's gonna be a standalone because then we'd be like left hanging but let me check handy dandy amazon <laughs> i like her writing it's just not like you know cream of the crop yeah i don't know what's going on here just weird things are happening i don't know if like her book got picked up or something um uh, because now there's not even the book's not even on her page it just says um uh no image available pre-order now okay anyway next <laughs> thank you next I, this series is one of those series that I'm like, I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's happening. I know nothing. Um, I, I'm sad that if it, this, if they don't come out with more, but this is Queen of Myth and Monster by, um, Scarlett St. Clair. This is the Adrian and Isadola, Isolda, Isolda. I forget how to say her name. <laughs> but this is that series, and I love this series so much. I thought it was so good so far. It's giving vampires. It's a fun time. Is it like my number one favorite series? No. But like it's a good series and I'm like I want to know what happens next. Thank you. So I haven't heard much of anything but I am in the middle of this one. So if you know anything let your girl know because I do not know anything. <laughs> it's hard to like um here's the thing. Unless you like follow a um like a uh wow. Unless you follow a um author you really don't know much but that's the thing too like I follow plenty of authors that just post so much that I like I'm like I don't I don't care about that you know what I mean I just want to know about your book so I feel like authors should have like their author page and then their personal page because like I follow a few authors that I just have to unfollow because I'm like I really don't want to know about your dog I don't I just don't because I want to go on my book channel on my book Instagram and I want to look at book content like I don't want to know I don't want to see anything else more for the most part and so um but th then that being said then you miss out on some information or other the people like f watch interviews I have no idea how people know what is going on with these books but if you know let me know <laughs> all right three more I'm also currently waiting for this next book. This is by Gina L. Maxwell. This is the Rebel King. Um, this is the Deviant King trilogy. And I'm waiting for the next one. Um, this is, the next one is The Vicious King, which is out July 24th. Ooh, summer. Summer's looking good, <laughs> people. Um, anyway, I like the series a lot. It's basically like Faye in, uh, in, uh, LA, Los Angeles. No, it's not LA, is it? I don't know. Faye in the casinos. <laughs> um, but it's a good time. And um, that's a fun series. I'm waiting for the next one. I'm also... Uh, I don't know what's happening. My favorite series, guys. I'm just like sitting here, slowly dying, waiting for the next book. I read them too fast. I should have spread them out, but I thought they were done and they're not done. This is the Blood and Ash series. By Jennifer L. Armantrout. This is the crown, the crown of gilded bones. <laughs> I am all caught up. I've read the first, all five, I believe. It's the first five. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. And apparently there's going to be seven books in this series. The next book that's coming out, I don't know when the next, the continuation of this book is coming out. The next book that's coming out in this series is like another character is writing like something. <laughs> it's not, it's not a continuation of this book if that makes sense it's so confusing um how to explain it but like and it, i'm not i don't think i'm gonna read it it's like um um oh, i forget her name someone's diary there's a joke in the series about someone's diary well this person who wrote that diary is apparently like she's writing the, the book that sh the next book is like apparently her perspective on something and but it's not necessarily it's not the same main characters it's not the it's not the same thing it's not this book okay it's not this freaking series that I want to read so that I want to continue so I'm just patiently waiting for that next book to be released to be announced something I don't know I do not know I don't know <laughs> and I'm sad about it I'm emo can you tell all right last but not least I am currently reading this book so whatever take that how you will um the um I am in the middle of Da -da -da, the Cruel Prince by Holly Black. I am on chapter 14, page 128. I'm actually going to sit down and read this for a little bit after this video. I'm enjoying this. I'm getting nervous. I'm nervous and not necessarily because... I'm not because I think it's going to be bad or anything. I've heard amazing things, so I have really high expectations. But I'm nervous because 
I just feel like I know where this is heading and I don't like that. And not that I don't like it. It's hard to explain. Not that I don't like it as a book. It's like that I don't like, I don't want her to go there. I don't want, I don't want the main character to have to go through that. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to have to go through that with the main character because I just think I know what's going to happen. Um, so up until this point, she's basically just getting bullied by these freaking jerk snobs. Well, then something happens and she ends up getting a job or someone. And it's a good time so far. So you're like, <gasps> but also you don't know if that person is true or honest. And so you're like, are you going to play her? Because I'm going to be pissed if you play her and you're a grown man. Let's get this straight. <laughs> so I'm nervous. And I'm like, Ugh. and she's, she's conflicted, which is good. Like she can see, like, she's like, hmm, I didn't like that. She's sus about it. And so I'm like, okay, you go girl, like be sus about it. Don't let them play you. But I'm like, I don't know what's going to happen. And so I, and then I'm also like, it's called the cruel prince, but I'm like, there's literally like six princes. <laughs> so I'm like, I don't, I, I know which one is cruel right now, but I don't know how it's going to end. You know what I mean? And then it's a trilogy. And then I'm like, is the, uh, are the other books like Stolen Air and the other things, are they like, um, just a different character in this world? Like the sister or something? Cause that would be a freaking awesome. Stolen Air. I don't know. <laughs> We're gonna have to find out, but um, I'm excited and um, I'm currently in the middle of this series. All right, this video is longer than it needs to be. <laughs> there are some series that I'm like not actively reading that I basically DNF'd. I kind of want to do a video talking about books and stuff I DNF'd, but I'm like, it's such a, not a waste of a video, but I feel like it's annoying because I might pick them back up. So it's like, here I potentially DNF'd it, but I might pick it back up. So it's like, <laughs> why waste my breath? But let me know if you'd want to see that. These are all the series that I'm currently in the middle of, guys. It's a lot, but that's okay. <laughs> let me know what series you're in the middle of. Let me know what series you want me to read. Again, I have plenty, so fret not. I know there are a lot of series that you're like, Marissa, these are the best series in the world. Why haven't you read them? They are on my cart. They're on my cart. I'm probably going to read them soon. Um, I'm trying to finish. I want to finish Throne of Glass this year, but that means I got to start it this year. <laughs> and so I haven't started it yet, but I want to start it. Um... And so then I could read the Crescent Cities, I think is what it's called. I really want to read those so bad. So anyway, that is it for this video, guys. <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in my next one. Bunners.